welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone is having a fabulous day. For any of you that are new to my channel, this is my empties video. It's actually what I'm going to be starting to call it is it's garbage day. Yes, and the reason for this is because it's pretty... <laughs> it's pretty pathetic that all of us girls here on YouTube hold on to our garbage so we can show you what we used up. But I'm so guilty of this. I watch people's garbage videos because I like to see what they use and I actually get recommendations from them. So I've got a whole bunch of them. So let's get right into it. First thing I'm going to show you are candles that I finished for the month of March. I have quite a few of them. I keep forgetting to put them in my videos, so finally I remembered and I actually went through quite a bit because it's been so cold in southern Ontario and when I burn candles I just feel like it's so nice and warm and toasty in the house, so it's a winter thing for me. I don't normally burn them in the summertime, but in the wintertime I love burning candles. And of course mine pretty much are all from Bath and Body Works. The first one is the Pumpkin Cupcake. This is such a nice, warm, rich um, candle. It is sweet, but not overly sweet where it's like, oh my God, sickening. I really enjoyed this. It reminds me of pumpkin pie. If you like the smell of pumpkin pie, you're going to really like this pumpkin cupcake. It's delicious. Kind of made me hungry when I was burning it. The second one is Fireside. Now this smells like a bodacious man, like, oh my God, like back in the 80s, what was the guy's name with the long hair? Flavio, you know, and then the wind is blowing in his long, luxurious hair. This just reminds me of a men's cologne, pretty much almost like it kind of gives me a throwback to my 20s when we used to go to the club and all the Italian boys would be wearing their Dracar Noir. This is what that candle reminds me of. So it does have nostalgia for me, so I really enjoyed Fireside, and I would actually repurchase this. Living vicariously through my candles. Isn't that pathetic? I'm such a loser. The next candle I finished was Salty Caramel. Now this is Sweet Sensation. It is very, very sweet, a lot thick caramel sugary scent. If you don't like that, you're not going to like this candle. It was extremely, extremely sweet, but I like those candles, so uh, I enjoyed this one very much. And not a good candle to burn when you are trying to watch your weight. I'm on a Fatty Friday program where I'm reduced my calories to 1,200 calories a day. If you check my Friday videos, I have a whole bunch of videos on what I'm doing. And when I burn this candle, not a good idea. The last candle for the month of March was from the Seasons box and this was, the candle was sugar cookie, so another decadent cookie of sweets, I mean candle of sweets. This was a really nice smelling candle. The only caveat I had with this is it burnt dirty. So what I mean by that is after it finished burning, it would have a clump of black soot on the top of the wick. So after it solidified, I had to get a Kleenex and remove that or else it would smoke up. And it was very smoky when it did burn. And you can see some of the remnants on the bottom there. Now with all of my candles, I do repurpose these. So what I'll do is I'll put them in the fridge and crack off the... Uh, What's this? The rest of the wax. And I'm going to see if I can reuse the wax and put it in one of those burners that just melts the wax. Just because, look at there's quite a bit of wax left in these containers and it's a shame to throw them out with all this wax. So I'm going to see what I can do with that. And then I've been saying this for months. I want to do a tutorial on how I repurpose these. I've got some great ideas and I want to share them with you. But I don't know when I'm going to get to that. But it is upcoming. Finish these. Now these are new for me. Uh, they're the Wallflyer wallflower um, little bud things that you plug into the wall. Love these things. These were the fig flavor from Bath and Body Works. I really loved them. They lasted for almost two months in my house and now I have currently the sweet cinnamon pumpkin burning but I put these in here just so that I can show you but these I just purchased them around Christmas time because I've never used them and I really really like them. They are they are expensive if you're not catching a sale so I would recommend getting these if you are interested when Bath and Body Works has a sale. I finished these votives. They're Illuminations votos. They were votives, votos, votos, photos. They were pumpkin pie. So again, keeping in with the pumpkin and the sweet. Somehow, for some reason, March was that for me because we had a lot of snow. So finished this. I've had this for a long time and 
actually the date here says 2008. So that's how long I've had these um, little tea lights. They're not even votives. They're, they were tea lights. So I finally finished this box. I can't remember where I purchased them. It could have been at a candle party back in the day. I have no idea. But anyways, I finished those. The next thing I'm going to share with you is my hair dye. This is a new hair color that I've I discovered when I was in California and it actually yes they do sell it here in Canada and it's the Claro Expert Age Defying so it fights seven signs of aging now there's this new series out here on YouTube with these beautiful girls from YouTube that are 30 and over and I honestly I'm gonna be quite honest with you I was watching them and they're all in their early 30s and honestly I think you're beautiful and I didn't really notice the signs of aging until I hit 40 because when you're in your 30s, you still, uh, even for me, I still kind of like could pass for t my late 20s. When you hit 40, you can no longer pass for your 20s. Like, you know what I mean? So, and your and things in your body start changing rapidly. Your hair is one of them. I find that your hair gets brittle. Your, your grays start coming in more abundantly and they're coarse. And um, it lacks the shine and the volume. You do start thinning your hair. Most, some people start losing their hair. So I liked this product because it is age defying and um, I use the color 3.5 darkest brown. It obviously isn't the color of the box. As you can see, my hair is really black. So darkest brown on this girl here looks more like a medium brown. It does not apply like that on my hair because my hair is extremely porous, but I really like this and I am going this is going to be my new hair color for now. Keeping in the hair mode, I have a L'Oreal Elmet hairspray. This is my favorite. If you have watched that movie American Hustle, you at the beginning, uh, Christian Bale, his character is doing his hair, and he had he's bald, so he does one of these comb over things, and he used this hairspray, and I'm like. Wow, they've got an Elnet hairspray. So then I, I, did, I Googled it, and this is the actual packaging that they used to have in the late 60s, early 70s. So they have not repackaged their container, which I kind of like that. I love that they kept it retro because, yeah, even the lady on the can is retro. Some people don't like the scent of it. I like it. It holds my hair. I'm Italian. I like big hair, and this thing does it right for me. So that was done. Throwing this hairbrush out, it actually is missing some of the knobs that help like you know the little red dot things at the ends and it's been killing me it pulls on my hair and it it, it breaks my hair and yeah it's time to go bye bye finished my sample sizes of the L'Oreal or the Garnier damage erase uh, products that we received in our influencer I I was asked I was you know, given a free um, box of Garnier Fruitress, um, the damage eraser line, and um, I finally finished the sample because I like to finish the samples before I start on, in on the actual product. So um, yeah, this is great. Honest to goodness, I could not believe, I was kind of actually surprised at such an inexpensive product to do and achieve the results that it does. It left my hair shiny, manageable, still had volume so it didn't weigh my hair down. I used the split end remedy which is very comparable in my opinion to the um, what is it? The Alterna Caviar CC Cream for your hair. I have that and I love it. I got that as a gift from Meredith from e 2 You. So thank you, Meredith. I'm so loving that. So if you're looking for a more affordable option, I would suggest getting trying out the Garnier Fructuous Damage Eraser Formula. If you have split ends, your hair is dry, and you're looking for something to try out, definitely try it out. It's very inexpensive to do so, so you're not investing a lot of money, even if you don't end up liking it. So yeah, the, I got the shampoo and the conditioner that I finished, and I did finish the split end remedy. I just had a little bit left, and I gave it to my mom because I wanted her to try it out. But yeah, finished those and would recommend. Oh my god, this is so divine. It is a facial spray. Again, I got this from Seasons Box. However, I finished mine months ago. Like, 
I, as soon as I got it, I think it only lasted me a few months. And Ashley here on YouTube, she saw that I really liked it and she wasn't using hers, so she shipped me hers because she says I'd rather have someone use it. So this is the Rosewater Dream Organics uh, Facial Mist. This is gorgeous on your skin. I usually apply it as a toner, so in the morning what I did is I would just have my clean face and then I would spray this, let it dry and seep into my skin and then put on my eye cream, serums and moisturizers. Love, love, love this. Would definitely repurchase. Again, it's Dream Organics. This gets a lot of reviews. It's a celebrity spray. A lot of the celebrities use this spray. I, I mean, I'm not saying it's great because the celebrities use it, but you know what? It is a good line and I highly recommend it. And they all, you know, there has been research done that uh, rose water is really good for your face. So, would recommend that one. Also, I finished a Kiehl's Rosa Artica Youth Regenerating Cream for your face. I got this sample when I purchased my eye cream from Kiehl's in California. Love this cream. Uh, little, little was a long way. It's, it's not scented. It's a very thick cream, great for drier skin. So if you are more mature skin or you have a drier type of skin, uh, even winter skin, highly recommend this. I am thinking of purchasing the full size, so I'm glad I had this to try it out. Uh, I do love, I mean, I absolutely love their eye cream, and I've totally seen improvements with that. And I will be doing a review just on the eye cream because of the amazing results that I've gotten with that. But this one is a cream that I would recommend. And if you can get yourself a sample, check out this, try to get a sample and try it out before you actually invest the money to purchase it. Finish these Neutrogena oil-free cleansing wipes in the pink grapefruit. These things, oh my God, they stung my face and my eyes, but then after I got used to them. If you are sensitive skinned, do not purchase these because they will irritate you for sure. I wouldn't recommend these on your eyes for eye removal because they are very potent. Uh, they are acne. They're supposed to be for acne prone skin. So I would recommend after, you, you know, if you're doing just a touch up on your face to use these. But they are extremely strong, extremely grapefruit scented. You may want to opt to go with the regular Neutrogena and forego the grapefruit scent. I purchased a whole bunch of these because I had a $5 off coupon and I had a whole bunch of the $5 off coupons and the regular ones were not available so I picked up the grapefruit and yeah. So I also finished these exfoliating mitts. I always use these. I got these at the body shop. Um, last Christmas I bought like 15 of them. They were really inexpensive. For, I think they were 15 for $15. So a dollar a pair. So yeah, I finished one of these. I've got already a new pair in my shower. They're awesome. I just put them on my hands, pump in my shower gel, and then you know, exfoliate and shower all at the same time to leave my skin nice and soft and smooth. Another thing that helped me get smooth skin during this dry, cold, ugly winter is this product here, which I absolutely loved. Again, it's Seasons Box. I have to say that the products that I got with Seasons Box, a lot of them were really good. You'll see that I ranted about Seasons Box because their service sucks, okay? The, the, the corporation changed hands so many times that, you know, we wouldn't get our box for like months. Like I would get my box for the month of say it was the month of January, I wouldn't get it till the end of February or even March. So it was ridiculous. But some of the products that they did include in our box was really nice, but we never got the value that we were paying for the box. And that was another caveat of theirs. But anyways, enough of that rant with Seasons Box. The Maca Macosa, Macosa, I think that's how you say it, or Macasa, Macosa. This is a great product. It's cruelty free. I think they have an Etsy store and this particular body butter um, was organic rosemary mint and sage so if you don't like that herbal scent you probably would be turned off by this because it does have kind of like a medicine-y almost kind of like Vicks you know Vicks vapor rub but not as strong and potent as as Vicks and it doesn't linger on your body like that but it was a white cream I don't know if you could see some of the remnants and it was a solid form so you really had to dig in and the heat from your hand would melt it Almost like the consistency of coconut oil. That's what I would compare this to. And then you just slather it on your body. And a little does go a long way. I 
and it just left my my skin so smooth and soft and oh my god I loved it I also received a like a, a soap the one month from this brand and it was really good too so definitely would check this out I'm going to put the link of a couple of these like I'll put the link below of the of my favorite products so that in case you're interested you guys can go and click on and do some research if you like them or not okay that might help you out so I finished a hand sanitizer from Bath and Body this was I love watermelon cherry these are always a staple in my house I always have them they have have, what do they have in it? It starts with a T. They have an ingredient in here that is not environmentally friendly. I've done some research on it. I'm pissed off that Bath and Body Works won't remove it. It's something that when it goes into our water, it's not good for our water and wildlife and all that. But I really like these and I'm trying to find an alternative hand soap that doesn't contain that ingredient so that I can use it rather than this because you know I'm sorry I've been doing some research with where our food comes from our production of food the cut production of our makeup and you know these industries make so much money and they really rape all of us because we're so blinded a lot of the time of what's happening and you know a couple of my friends here on YouTube are going cruelty free and I admire them of that and I'm starting to do more and more research about it and it's amazing how many companies the bigger companies are not cruelty free so they do do their research on animals and um, you know and I'm very disheartened about that because you it's just a, that's a totally different uh, movie <laughs> a totally different video but anyways I will do I will do a whole video on that but this I finished and um, I'm not sure if I'm going to repurchase any of these hand sanitizers. I'm still in the, I'm still looking to see if there's an alternative. I'm not going to say I'm not going to repurchase them. I'm just looking to see if uh, there is a better alternative. If you have something that you are currently using that you like, let me know and put your comments in the down bar. I've finished the Honey Sweetheart uh, shower gel. Loved this scent. I also have the Triple Moisture Body body cream from the um, same line. Love, love, love this. It has uh, honeyed violets, pink sugar, and sparkling peach. And I could still smell it from the bottle. This was amazing. I would, If they come back out with this line in the summer, I would recommend picking a few things up from that line. I'm throwing out a razor. This is one of the Extreme 3 Chic razors. This works good. I've, I'm Italian, so I got that, that hair on my legs that, you know, needs to be shaved. Once you shave, you still get the 12 o'clock shadow at 12 o'clock. So, yeah, I need men shaving um, utensil things because that's what I find works best for my legs. I finished a Colgate Total Whitening Toothpaste. I bought a whole crap load from Costco. Not realizing why would I do this I have like six tubes of this stuff this worked well I mean it, it, it cleaned my my teeth it it uh, freshened my breath and it was one of these good toothpaste so yeah would recommend it my go-to deodorant is the secrets deodorant I have the scent here Vava vanilla like this deodorant a lot because it is solid the only caveat is that it does leave marks on your clothing I would recommend if you're wearing anything dark to get dressed and then apply this because if you're trying to put your dress on after putting this on you will leave marks on your dress every morning that happens to me then I have to take a wet towel and wipe it off to try to get it out or another way of removing it is getting a pair of nylons and rubbing it on the stain and it will remove the deodorant stain if any of you didn't know that that's a little tip I finished this soap that I also got from the uh, seasons box and it is the papaya ginger lemongrass and I will insert a photo of this liked this soap it was very you know I rarely use soap because I find soap very drying on my skin but this here was very nice it did not dry my skin it left me nice and soft I still moisturize because I always moisturize it doesn't matter what product I use in the shower I always moisturize but this was a really nice um, hand soap and or it was a handmade soap and it was a really nice bath bath soap then I'm throwing this out the Crawford Street 
uh, lemon deodorant cream. I also got this from the Seasons box. This is a natural deodorant and it comes in a cream like this and what you do is you grab the cream and you put it under your arms. It does, it will uh, emulsify in your hands and then you just put it on your arms, underneath your armpits. And I really wanted to like this, but it, it left a very severe irritation and discoloration under my arms, and it was brutal. So I had to discontinue use. I know a lot of people here that do use this and enjoy it. I was trying to go more natural for a deodorant, but yeah, this did not work for me. It was a complete fail, and I was upset because I really, really wanted to like this. But if any of you were are interested in trying something more natural, this is the Crawford Street, and there it is right there. So I will put the information below. It's it has an I think it, it's an Etsy store. Anyways, I finished the Sally Hansen Advanced Hard as Nails Strengthening Top Coat. If you watch my What Rocked My Nails series, which I do every month, showing you what I wear on my nails on a month like for the month, this was my top coat. I have repur well not repurchased because I had purchased a whole bunch when I got this. I finished this. This is a really nice, inexpensive top coat and does the job very nicely. Would recommend. I finished the foil sample here of the Julep Petty Cream. Very small sample, but it was very nice. Left my feet a little greasy, so I threw some socks on just to keep the moisture in. I wouldn't repurchase. I like. I wouldn't go out and buy this because there's other creams that you can get. So why buy? Why buy it online? Then I finished some foil samples. I got this sample here, and it's the Coors Face Primer. Coors is a natural um, skincare line, and um, this is a vitamin E face primer. It's silicone free, it's skin perfecting, and it's moisturizing. I loved this stuff. This stuff is amazing. If you guys have an opportunity to go to Sephora and get a free sample, I would highly recommend it. This left my skin flawless. When I put, applied this on my face and then applied my foundation, I had a smooth, flawless look. And I would definitely look into getting this. I think I'd like to go back to Sephora and get a sample so that I can use it again before I purchase a full size, only because I have so many primers that I need to get to finish. And I don't want to be buying all these primers and all these products and have them sitting in my, my collection drawers here and never using them. So I will keep this piece of paper because I want to remember with what this product is because I really, really love it. So if you are looking for primers, I know Kelly McKelly, you're looking for a primer, check this one out. I think because you you know you do have some irritations with your skin and stuff, this has natural ingredients, so it might work really well for you. And like I said, it leaves a nice flawless finish to your face. So highly would recommend this. I finished this sample of Sephora's foundation. This is their 10-hour um, perfecting foundation. I got the color medium number 30. This was actually nice for a Sephora brand product. I really enjoyed this. I mean, I got this much of a sample right there, and I was able to use it for my whole face and I really liked the finish. Um, it did break down, it didn't, I didn't find that it lasted 10 hours. I found that my face did look blotchy after like the end of my day, which is eight hours. So yeah, this was okay. Like I don't, I have so many other foundations that I'm not gonna go and run and purchase this right away. If you are interested, go get yourself a sample from Sephora and try it out for yourself because foundations, I think, are very personal because of people's skin tones and skin issues. I, I think that one foundation may not be a universal foundation for everyone. So, anyways, I liked this. W wouldn't go out and buy it right away. I finished a a uh, perfume sample, the Givenchy Play. Loved this perfume, loved the scent. I don't even know what to, does it say. This was the Eau de Toilette Floral. It's got white currant, vineyard peach, licorice flower, white orris, amorous wood, and musk. It was a really, really nice scent, and I really enjoyed this. I would definitely recommend getting this. I mean, get yourself a sample if you can, and uh, check it out. Again, perfume is subjective to each other, each person's individual likes. So, Lady Gaga, I finished her too. This was actually a really, this surprised me. I really liked this. It had a crushed heart of tiger orchidea with a black veil of innocence, pulverized apricot, and the combination essence of saffron and honey drops, and tears of belladonna. 
Uh, that's got to be a flower. Anyways, this was really a nice scent, and I was surprised because I thought, you know, oh, it's freaking Gaga, you know, but I really like this, so I enjoyed it. I'm not going to go out and buy it right now because I've got a whole bunch of these perfume samples that I have to finish, but I want to keep these, and I'm going to rate them so that way when I'm ready to buy a perfume, I know which one to Thank go and try. Thank you so, it. so much for all of my new subscribers that have clicked on to my channel and found that maybe I had something interesting to share with them and I hope that uh, you like this video and if you are watching this video for the first time and you're not subscribed please hit the subscribe button I'd love to have you as a subscriber and I hope that you all have a beautiful day and I'll see you in my next video ciao for now